Now that we're done softening up the line with the two guard, we can move on to our one and a half guard and use our corners and its lever to erase the line completely. Now we're moving on to our clipper over comb method and this is going to help us smooth out the fade and debulk the sides. Make sure to use your vertical cuts to blend and your horizontal cuts to debulk. Switching over to my previous guards, I'm making sure I remove all guidelines. Don't forget to stretch the skin with your opposite hand to give you more room to blend. I use the vertical cuts to blend when using my clipper over comb and when I want to debulk I use my horizontal cuts. With this hairline we're going to use our NST outliners to make them as crispy as possible and we're also going to make sure we go slow enough that the hair feeds into the teeth of the trimmer because if not then the hair is going to shift and you won't line them up properly. When I lie out my C cups, I always start off at the bottom and work my way to the top arch using the corners of the blade. I'm going to saturate the hair a little bit so I can move it out of my way.
Now that we're done lining up his C cups, we can move on to the top and create our first guideline using our shears. We're going to pull the hair to our fingers, hold it as tight as possible while stretching it, and use our cutting blade to cut the hair. Also, don't forget to connect the guideline from the top to the sides so you don't want to leave any hair hanging off from the sides. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to show some extra support, again, go ahead and follow my Instagram. It's going to be in the bottom right-hand corner. Now that we're done with our shear work on the top, we can move on to our Turkish Razor and Derber Premium Blades and make them as crispy as possible. When you're using your razor, you want to make sure you stretch the skin with your opposite hand as much as possible and also keep the razor at a 45 degree angle. This lowers the likelihood of you cutting someone. What's going on guys, Fade Lou here, bringing guys a brand new video. We're gonna be doing a mid fade comb over on my boy, so stay tuned. We're starting off by creating our first guideline, contouring to his head shape with our gold FX. Don't be afraid to stretch the skin with your opposite hand to give you more space to either bald out or blend. Now that we're done balding them out, we can move on to our no guard all the way open and create our second guideline. You want to make this guideline around an inch thick so you can spread the blend. We're then going to slightly close the lever midway and all the way close and attack that initial guideline. Now that we're done erasing our initial guideline, we can move on to our one guard all the way open and create our third guideline. We're then going to use this same guard and its lever to soften up this line and get ready for the half guard. Now that the line is soft enough, we can move on to our half guard and erase the line completely. Don't forget to use your lever and your corners.
Again, don't be afraid to move their ear out of the way to give you more space. Now we're moving on to our three guard all the way open and we're gonna debulk the sides. I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please leave a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to show some extra support, go ahead and follow the Instagram down below, or you could go ahead and leave a super thanks. Now that everything's nice and even to a three guard all the way open, we can move on to our two guard all the way open and create our third guideline. We're then gonna use this same guard to soften up the line and get ready for the one and a half guard. Now that the line is soft enough, I'm moving on to my one and a half guard and I'm going to erase the line completely using its corners and its lever. Now that we're done with our guard work, we can move on to our clipper over comb and we're going to go ahead and debulk and make the fade as smooth as possible. When using your clipper over comb, you want to remember that your vertical cuts are to blend and your horizontal cuts are to deep bulk. Going back to my one guard all the way open, I'm going to go ahead and use my corners and detail a little bit. Now that, now that we're done lining them up, we're going to move on to the top and make sure that the hair is nice and saturated and then we're going to start off by making our guideline through the middle and working our way to the sides. The reason why you might not make sure the hair is nice and saturated is so that you can get the true length of the hair follicle because if the hair is nice and dry, then it's going to curl and uh, be wavy and then you won't get the true length of the hair. Again, I hope you guys are enjoying the video. Please give a like, comment, and subscribe. It's greatly appreciated. Also, if you guys want to show some extra support, go ahead and drop a follow on my Instagram down below or go ahead and leave a super thanks. Thank you. Now that we're done with our shear work, we can move on to our Turkish razor and Derby Premium blades and make them as crispy as possible. But before we do that, we're going to apply some shade gel so that the razor could glide better. When you're using a razor, you want to make sure the screen is stretched out as much as possible with your opposite hand and also that you're keeping the blade at a 45 degree angle. This lowers the likelihood of you cutting someone. 